Stop these five unforgiving habits which most people make when mewing and you'll start to see improvements to your facial structure and gain a sharper jawline much faster. Mewing simply involves keeping your tongue on the roof of your mouth but you are probably actually doing it wrong. Incorrect technique can lead to pain and discomfort as well as unnatural or strained facial structure. Stop touching the front of your teeth with your tongue. Most people think that all you need to do is press your tongue as hard as you can to the roof of your mouth but this could be a huge mistake. Not only is the position incorrect Correct, but also when you're pressing your tongue up and forward in your mouth, more and more pressure will be forced against your jaw. After time, pressure can lead to gaps in your teeth and can cause strain on the muscles and joints. Your tongue should be behind your teeth and not touching them, so make sure you are unable to feel them when mewing. Everyone does this when mewing for the first few times, and that is only having the tip of your tongue pressed against the roof of your mouth. This can result in an unbalanced distribution of forces which can cause muscle tension and asymmetry over time. This can lead to problems such as misaligned teeth and jaw, headaches and facial pain. The correct position is to have your whole tongue up against the palate, which means lifting the back of your tongue higher. We've all been in that situation where we want to swallow but we don't want to lose the mewing structure because we think that's the right thing to do. However, you may find it difficult to breathe momentarily. This can lead to inconsistent results and failure to achieve that sharp jawline. Instead, when you're swallowing, make sure that you're relaxed to allow your tongue to move freely. When mewing, you want to make sure your mouth is not too far open. It may be stressful for your jaw at the start, but it is very important if you want to gain a chiseled jawline faster. If your two rows of teeth are far apart, it may disrupt the effectiveness of mewing and the process will take a lot longer. You should try to minimize the gap between the upper and lower sets of teeth over time. You need to stop breathing through your mouth as you will begin to hold your tongue lower in the mouth and rely on the muscles of the neck to support the jaw. This can lead to improper alignment and decrease in the amount of force applied to the maxilla which is important for proper facial growth. In contrast, breathing through the nose can help maintain a proper tongue posture as the tongue is more naturally positioned against the roof of the mouth. If you avoid all these bad mewing habits, then you are on the way to gaining that sharp jawline that you've always wanted. However, if you want to easily look better or become more masculine this summer, then watch this video.